Today, I want to talk to you about an issue that we are currently seeing a lot with our clients in this era of COVID-19 and um, the consequent lockdown triggered by this pandemic. Quite a lot of our clients want to terminate contracts, want to uh, uh, breach, sorry, to, uh, uh, to be break free from the contractual obligations that they had um, taken prior to the pandemic because they can't uh, benefit from the services or the products um, that um, the other party was uh, was contractually obliged to uh, provide them with in exchange for money, uh, a remuneration, etc, etc. So for example, quite a lot of our clients want to terminate their lease agreement because their shops are closed or their co-working spaces are closed, so they can't attend those premises. So of course they don't want to pay the price for the rent. Uh, that is an example. We are also seeing, um, uh, and that is not triggered by uh, COVID actually, but we are also seeing with uh, Brexit issues um, and red tape that quite a lot of UK based businesses um, cannot make deliveries of products anymore now to continental Europe, the uh, 27 member states of the European Union, uh, Northern Ireland, for example, and um, and they are saying stop, we have to stop doing deliveries in these places because we don't have the staff to actually uh, fill out all the documents and, um, and uh, make sure that the red tape is taken care of. So we just have to stop deliveries in these places. So when they come to us, our clients, they're asking, so is this force majeure? Can we actually invoke force majeure uh, uh, in, 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 with the other side, with the other party, um, in order to terminate the contract? And force majeure is a, a, a legal concept which uh, is defined as follows. Um, when an event which is outside the control of the parties occurs, then it means, and, and if such event um, triggers the impossibility by one or, or the, the both parties to e execute their legal, uh, contractual obligations, uh, then a force majeure um, uh, event occurs, which means that the um, uh, either the uh, contract is terminated or it is put on a standstill. And force majeure is a, a French concept, force majeure, and it's I suppose it's been uh, you know uh, basically adopted by the uh, Anglo-Saxon world. Um, the issue, though, that we are seeing is that a lot of contracts which were drafted and executed prior to the COVID-19 pandemic do not contain such force majeure clauses. Usually force majeure clauses, by the way, uh, they um, relate to, uh, you know, um, acts of God, uh, uh, very strong riots, um, wars, acts of wars, uh, fires, very strong fires, uh, very strong floods. These are examples of force majeure cases. And now we could even add a pandemic. Um, so, yeah, so a lot of these agreements, for example, with the likes of Rigas or other co-working spaces, they do not set, set out any force majeure clauses, which is, when you think about it, crazy. But it is, it is true. And um, it's very difficult for our client as well to, who are all, of course, uh, professionals. They are not consumers, so they can't be treated as, you know, a much weaker party because they are consumers. No, in, in, they are actually professionals, uh, be it um, company directors or, uh, you know, uh, creative entrepreneurs working uh, in a self-employed way. But they are all professionals. So they can't really invoke um, in front of the likes of, you know, Regus or, or they, they, the counterparty. They can't say, well, we are consumers, so we are weak. So you, you presented us with contract which was already drafted, which in any case we couldn't negotiate. And um, it was, you know, a take it or leave it situation. But because we are consumers, we are protected. And therefore, you know, you have to um, comply with consumers law and uh, and terminate that, that, that contract, which is in breach of... Uh, consumer law protection, uh, consumer protection law, sorry, uh, in a, when, when a, a case of force majeure occurs. So in this case, 
as I was saying, our clients who are all uh, creative professionals, they can't invoke that clause because they're not consumers. So what do they do if, um, in addition, there is no force majeure clause in the contract, in the professional contract with the other professional party that provides for a case of force majeure? Well, it's complicated, I must admit, but now there is more and more a body of case law which um, uh, has been uh, 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 basically appearing in France as well as uh, in the UK, in England and Wales, because of course you are not the only one uh, being affected by this issue. Quite a lot of uh, companies and, uh, and uh, businesses are being affected by this issue, which is that they haven't been able to go to their uh, uh, work premises for months now because of the first lockdown, the second lockdown, another third lockdown in the UK and potentially a third lockdown in France also coming soon. So um, the, um, these businesses have um, started litigation in order to, uh, in order to have the, the judges decide whether COVID-19 was a force majeure situation. So what's been happening in the UK, for example, uh, recently, is that the um, UK courts have decided that uh, the uh, insurers had to actually pay for the, the cost of uh, uh, the losses incurred by the insured businesses because of the fact that they were unable to attend their premises of the uh, rented premises and, uh, and, and make sales because they can't sell. Um, so the UK courts have uh, forced the UK insurers to actually um, treat the COVID-19 pandemic as a force majeure case, as a case which is uh, uh, protected by these uh, insurance uh, uh, contracts. And therefore, these UK insurers will have to pay the, um, uh, uh, the, some damages and some, uh, some, some funds to these insured businesses in the UK. So that is an example of this body of case law, which is appearing um, in, around the world, I suppose, but in particular uh, for um, our purpose here, for the UK, for England and Wales, as well as in France. In France as well, uh, French courts have started to decide and to put the, uh, the conditions under which COVID-19 can be uh, uh, treated as a force majeure case um, of pandemic and therefore um, a, 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 valid, a, a valid cause for termination of a contract. So on a pragmatic um, standpoint, what's going to happen is that if you have a contract that you w wish to terminate and uh, because of force majeure, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, and if you don't have a force majeure clause in your contract, which provides for such case of a uh, you know, an act of God or a, a, a disease or a pandemic, etc., happening, then you have to, you and your counsel, I strongly suggest that you take counsel um, in, in this instance, you and your counsel have to explain and to show and to demonstrate to the other side that uh, despite this lack of um, reference to a force majeure situation in the contract, the force majeure uh, situation does exist in factually and therefore uh, the contract needs to be terminated as per the new body of case law which has been uh, which has been um, published recently by the court in relation to COVID-19 and um, yeah it's going to be a lot of negotiations if it works it's fantastic and then the contract is terminated if it doesn't then uh, you have to speak to your counsel again and uh, potentially have to litigate to obtain such satis full satisfaction in terms of terminating the contract and um, and um, stopping having to make payments for services that you cannot uh, you cannot benefit from anyway because there's a lockdown and you can't go to your to your work premises. So good luck with that and uh, don't hesitate to come back to us if you want some advice on this particular uh, fraught point at the moment. Bye for now.